so what actually happens at the desk then? I mean, if you talk us through what the uh, the guys actually do. Yeah, so we've got a locomotive here. It's a uh, Class 06 from Hornby. Um, this is a non what we class as a non-standard fitting, so it's not a DCC ready locomotive. So we've got your, uh, the chip that's to go into it, the locomotive itself, um, standard set of tools. There's not much really required for DCC fitting. So you've just got a pair of pliers, uh, snips, a couple of different screwdrivers for getting into the locomotive itself, a pair of tweezers for helping with the soldering, and then a temperature controlled soldering iron. There's a couple of other little bits sometimes we might need to use there if it's a particularly difficult fitting. How does a customer choose to get a, a product DCC fitted? Right, so when they go onto the website, there's um, a thing called a product detail page, which you can click on any of the, the locomotives or any of the other things, and it'll give you more information about that product. And on the right-hand side of that page, there's some options you can choose from, um, and they're all pre-set up so that you can choose either DCC fitting or DCC sound fitting on the ones that are uh, available. And that means you can add anything you want to the cart, um, and it'll add everything you need. So it'll add the fitting service, the, the product itself, the decoder, if it's a sound decoder it'll add a sound um, speaker as well and then anything else that, that's required so it's a, a one click thing. At this end the order will come through the system fairly standard until it gets to the stage where it would usually go for packing. At that stage it will then come into this department for the DCC fitting. Everything gets tested and it's not just does it run, it gets full, all the lighting functions. If it's a sound loco we'll test all the sound functions ensuring all their, their working before it goes out.